Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So, basically in today's video, oh, she's here. The cremated palette has arrived at my doorstep. So we are going to be looking at her. I'm going to give my review and thoughts on her. If you are new here, I am Literally Lewis and I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. I cannot wait to review this palette. So let's just get bloody started. Okay guys, so this is what the outer packaging looks like. I love this. I'm sorry, all you can really see is my ring light. It's really annoying. So that is the outer packaging. And then when you slide her out, this is what she looks like. Oh, lipstick Nick. Motherfucking slayed this beat on Miss Jeffrey Lynn right here. Oh my God, so iconic. I've seen so many people recreate this. And today I'm going to get some inspiration from I want to get inspiration from this today but I don't want to like copy it but yeah this is the outer packaging I absolutely love this then on the back you have the logo with a halo ring around it which I think is really cool and then you have all his socials and where Jeffree Star Cosmetics is based and all that then when you open her up look at her let me just get in real real close to the camera so you can see every single shade Oh. My. God. I want you to see every single shade in this palette because she, oh my God, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so let me just give you my thoughts on when I first saw this palette. I was like, ah, because I am a colorful kind of guy. I love playing with color. This is scary to me. I don't, I know what to do with it, but like, it scares me. It's like one of the palettes where I'm like, I don't know what to do with it, but I love it. And I'm uh, ah! <laughs> like, I'm like that. Also the name, Cremated, I will say is, mm, I just think like Nikki Tutorial said, I think Deceased would have been a lot better of a name and it fits so much more to his brand because I feel like he's said Deceased more than he said Cremated. But like I do understand that like, oh my God, I'm cremated after like looking at this palette. I get that, like that's his kind of lingo and that's his kind of like joking way of saying stuff. Like I'm dead, I'm deceased, I'm cremated. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, I do want to say that I was sent this in PR as well and I'm very lucky to be on the PR list. I made it at the start of the year. Last year, if you follow me or know me, I did 365 days of Jeffree Star and I made it onto the PR list early 2020. What a year to make on the list. Um, it's been an interesting year, but yeah, let's just swatch this palette, see what these shades look like. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So like Miss Jeffrey Lynn, I'm going to swatch them row by row and I will discuss the similar shades as well because I know you guys probably want to know about that. Before we get into the swatches, I just want to say that yes, the palette is sold out already. There is going to be a restock in mid-June, I believe. He said June 12th. He did say a date, so Jeffrey, don't, don't be lying to us. And good news, he said that the Conspiracy Plus Put It Back is going to be restocking well, not restocking. We're finally going to be able to get our hands on it. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this green shade. I have never been more excited about an eyeshadow in my life. So that is coming as well. I also want to say that this is his first palette that is all eyeshadows. There's no pigments. It's all eye safe. So that is also a very exciting thing about this palette. Okay, let's get into the swatches. Okay, so here is the first row. We have... Hearse, Angel of Death, Grave Digger, Death Certificate, R.I.P. and Pool Bearer. Oh my god. I'm going to just like quickly do these. You can screenshot them if you want to like know the swatches. Okay, then here is the next row starting from this side. We have Inheritance Wednesday. Mortuary Beautician, Last Look, Solemnly Swear, and The Morgue. I love the shade Solemnly Swear because it just reminds me of Harry Potter. But yeah, that is the second row of shades. Okay, and then the next row we have Mausoleum, Embalmed. What did Nikki Lipstick Nick kept calling that something else? 
Oh my god, that was so funny in his video. Anyway, eulogy is the next one. Then we have life insurance. Then we have last respects and then goodbye. I am so sorry that you, you can't really see uh, it's life insurance through my tattoo. Um, yeah, but yeah, that shade there is life insurance. It is good, but yeah, just over my tattoo, it's not looking too good. Okay guys, so here is the last rose swatch. We have obituary, burial gown, afterlife, casket ready, death blow, and diamond ashes. Now, uh, mm, death blow, this one right here, second to last, I had a bit of trouble with. I will say that that was probably the only shade I had trouble with in the palette. It's not like swatching amazingly. That doesn't test to how good it works on the eyes, but I just had trouble with swatching that one. But that's pretty good out of the whole palette to have trouble with one shade swatching. Okay guys, let's get started. So, I haven't done my brows yet. It may look like I've done them. I've gifted with good brows. Thank, thank you, Mum. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go in with Miss Weirdo, the iconic black liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. And I'm also gonna go in with Miss Drug Lord. And I'm going to do a little bit of an ombre moment. Okay, so I'm going to take the JS7. I'm going to grab the end of the doe foot of Weirdo. I got a brand new one because as soon as I saw this collection, I was like, right, I'm ordering Weirdo. And I got my Jeffree Star mirror here. And I'm going to take this at the end of my brow. Now, one thing I will say is I was disappointed that there was no Velour liquid lipsticks to go with this collection. Oh my god, I'm... I would have like loved some groovy like deep greys and like oh that would have been so cool like I've he's only got Medusa I think that's a grey I've got Medusa and I've got Drug Lord and I've got Weirdo to make a grey so that's alright yeah just taking this at the end of my brow we want a really nice dark black 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 brow I'm going to go in with the doe foot itself and just colour in the hairs in the middle like so. Right, now going in with Drug Lord. So yes, now going in with Drug Lord and I'm going to pop that at the start of my brows. So just here. I'm going to make a line, slowly going into Weirdo. And I'm going to make lines going upwards as well. And then slowly bringing it in to Weirdo. And then slowly bringing it into Weirdo. So it's just going to basically fade into the Weirdo because it's a white and black is stronger than white. Like so. Okay, brows are on. Now let's dive into the palette. Oh, I forgot to comment on the similar shades as well. So a lot of people were saying that like... These two look similar, absolutely not. This is more like black grey toned, this is more blue grey toned. These two apparently look similar, absolutely not. This is way lighter, this is more like bluey grey. It's basically like 50 shades of grey up in here. Um, and then they were saying that these ones look familiar as well, absolutely not. <laughs> Once again, absolutely not. This one is way more like creamy yellow and this is more like white creamy. So yeah, I did want to say that I'm pretty sure those were the ones and maybe, yeah, no. I think those were the four that were like quite similar. They're all very, very, very different. Similar, but different. Okay, so diving into the palette, I'm gonna go in with the shade called Wednesday First. I'm gonna go in with my JS12 and I'm going to take that right here. I'm not gonna do anything crazy today with the cut crease, but I will be doing something crazy to my lower eye. You'll see. But yeah, I'm just going to take this in my first portion of my crease and just really pack that on and blend it out. Now, I don't really give a crap about fallout, but if you do care about fallout, there is a little bit of fallout, but if a shade works well, Oh, it doesn't bother me at all. It really doesn't. Like, not in the slightest. But yeah, I'm just going to take this shade in the first portion of my eye. And to no surprise, it's pigmented. It's blending out amazingly. And are we surprised? No. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm going to take R.I.P. As in R.I.P. to the haters because this palette's still sold out. <laughs> and I'm going to take that in the centre portion here. I'm just going to tap it on to begin with. And then I'll blend it out. That's just the way I like to apply shadow. I think it works best for me. Um, and yeah, that is pigmented and already blending out amazingly and I haven't even started to blend. <laughs> I have 
notice though that a few people do like to just keep on tapping and then it blends out their shadow for them. This camera keeps making me go orange and I apologise in advance if it goes orange and I'm not aware of it, but it's the camera. But yeah, I'm just taking this in the middle portion of my crease and then I'm gonna blend it out. Wow, that, that's beautiful. And once again, it went on amazingly and it blended out amazingly. Not surprised. <laughs> okay, moving on. I'm going to take the shade Grave Digger. I've been using the same brush as well, the JS12. I love it, it's so good. <laughs> also, I forgot to say that I primed my eyes with MAC Painterly Paint, but I don't think I've said that. So yeah, that's what I use for my primer. And I'm going to take this shade on the outer corner of my eye. Ooh. Oh, I love. I just, oh, this really um, worked well for any colour. I think this is going to work well for any colour eye. Like, this is making my brown eyes pop and I love that. <laughs> Actually, just before I go in, I'm just going to take RIP a little bit higher. Just so that you can see it when my eyes are closed. And I am going to say this because I say it in every video anyway. I just have a little bit of a patchy spot here. It's my eye. It's never the eyeshadow. It's just, it's just my eye. But yeah, I like to, I recently discovered that I've always like taken my shadow here, but I've taken it a bit higher recently and it just makes my eyes look so much better than before. I'm like, why didn't I do this before? Okay, now I'm going to go back in with Grave Digger and just join that up on this outer corner portion here. And... Those were like the shades that people were saying look similar. They do on the eye, I'm not going to lie, they do on the eye, but they definitely do look different in person. Like, I don't think it's like going to pull on camera how different they actually are. This one's just like that slightly bit darker. And with no product on my brush, just lightly blending that out because we don't want a harsh line. No, no, not today. Also, there has been fallout in the pan, but no fallout on my face. Okay, now the time you've been waiting for, we're going to go in with some shimmer shades. First off, I'm going to go in with Paul Bearer. And this is that new formula that Jeffrey came out with blood sugar. I'm going to take this on the inner portion of my... I love that shade. Wow. <laughs> wow. People were not kidding. Everyone's been swatching the shade being like, oh my god, it's so awesome! It is. I'm like, no tea, it is. Let me just really pack it on there so you can see it. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, I don't know if that's going to pick up on camera how beautiful that is. Let me just go in my finger, see if that's... Oh my god, that's so much better. Oh! <laughs> okay, let's put on another shimmer. I feel like this is the shade everyone's going to have trouble saying, but it's... I'm going to go in with Mortuary Beautician next. Look at the hearse, how cute are the stamps? I look, look, look at these stamps. I don't think I've shown you like close up of the stamps. Like they're so cool. We have like greys, we have stars with halos on them, hearses and urns. Like hello, iconic. Right, and I'm gonna go straight in with my finger guys. I'm not messing around with Mortuary Beautician. Oh my God. Oh my God, hello. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely sexy, Jeffree Star. Well done. Oh, that's beautiful. Hello, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Right, I'm just at this top here where my finger like struggles to get to here. I'm just going to tap it in with my brush so it blends in nicely with the shadow. Okay, now this shade I am so excited about. Let's go in with Angel of Death. Look at that. Oh, look at it shimmer. That is beautiful. And once again, not messing around. Let's go on with the finger. Oh. My God. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say it. I think this is better than Executioner. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. I'm just literally just tapping it on. It's, it's taking over that shade. It's so good. Let me just blend them with my finger. Oh my god. It's probably not blended well, but I'll just do that off camera. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is definitely 100% better than Execution. I will say that now. I'll say it right now. You can see the shimmer and shine in it. 
Okay guys, wow, here we are. I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line now. We're gonna go in with Miss Hearst herself. Oh my God, when this swatched, oh my God. Now I'm gonna take this on my lower lash. I've got a pencil brush. And before I go in with this, I'm gonna say that it does remind me of Area 51 from the Alien palette, but that is now discontinued. So if you missed out on the Alien palette, this is what Area 51 was like. So let me just pop that on the lower lash line and be very careful with it because it's a warp black. And I'm just going to take it on the outer and inner portion of my under eye. I'm just going in with little at a time. I don't want to like go full hundies with it and then regret it. So I'm just taking it lightly and just slowly tapping it onto my eye. And then the same on my inner eye, just here. Just going to... I'm not grabbing like a heap of product, I'm just slowly going in, easing my way into where I'm happy with. Once you go black, you can't go back. Oh, I will say there was there was a bit of fallout with the glitter shades, but I think it's just going to dust away when I brush it away. Um, but yeah. There's a little fallout, but I'm not bothered. <laughs> okay, and you can see I've left a little gap there for a specific shade. We're gonna go in with Diamond Ashes. Rest in peace, you beautiful dog. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with a new pencil brush because I don't want to have black residue on this shade. I'm gonna take this in the center of my eye, just here. <gasps> Bitch, are you kidding me? I'm definitely going to be using this as a highlighter, like 100%. That is beautiful, oh my god, I don't think it's going to pick up on camera how actually shimmery it is. There's so many like diamonds, ashes in there, like it's definitely named the right name because there's just so much like reflect in it. I really, really love this new formula that Jeffrey has come out with, with the Bloodlust. It's just like phenomenal. It's definitely reminding me of the Extreme Frost formula, I'm not gonna lie, like, wow. Right, and I think I can make this black a bit blacker, so I'm just gonna go back in with Morgue and just slowly make that a little bit darker, just so it stands out more with that black and then white. Oh, uh, not more, it's hers actually, I just looked at the palette. Okay, now moving on to the inspiration. So, I'm gonna take inspiration from this under eye here moment. Um, and I'm gonna do something a bit different, but kind of on the same page as what Lipstick Nick did. So once again, I'm gonna go in with the JS7 and I'm gonna go in with hers. And we're gonna make an underwing moment. So I'm just going to bring it straight out. Like so. Actually, just a little bit more. I'm just going to curve it the tiniest bit. And then I'm going to bring it down. And then, like, under my eyeball, eye bag, eyeball. Oh, sorry, I was not on focus. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to bring that underneath my eye bag. Like so. And then just finish it off here and just have like a sharp line like that. It's almost like a drag eye, but it just adds something a little extra. And yeah, that's just what I wanted. But yeah, I'm just going to go in with hers and just deepen that line up. And then I'm going to come in from this way and then join them up. Oh, I really like that. That's different for me. Like, I haven't done something like that before. I kind of like it just as a line. I was going to, like, feel this in as, like, a little bit of an ombre moment, but I kind of just like that just being a line like that. It kind of gives me, like, Star Wars vibes. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye, hopefully, off camera, and I'll be right back. I cannot believe I just nailed that. I did that out. I don't understand, but... I've shocked myself even, like, if you're impressed, I've like, I'm impressed by myself, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is, I've never done something like this before, it's so fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go back in to Diamond's Ashes, I'm gonna pop that in my inner corner. This is just gonna, I know, this is just gonna set the look off, I'm just, like, ready? Oh my god, look at that. 
Oh my god! More, I want more. I want my inner corner to be so blinding that Jeffrey can see it all the way from LA. Okay guys, so that is the eyes basically done. I'm just going to quickly pop off camera and do my lashes. I've also got some single white lashes that I'm going to pop right here. I think that's going to look so cool. I've also got some, I'm orange. My camera keeps making me go orange. Making me go orange. Fuck. My camera keeps making me go orange. It's really testing me. And I'm also going to add some little gemstones, I think, in the eye around here or maybe at the points. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, we are back with jewels and lashes on. I will leave everything linked, but well, not linked, but I will leave everything that I use down below. Moving on, I haven't done my contour yet because I wanted to see what one of the shades looks like. So I'm going to go in with Last Respects and see what that's like. I'm just going to take that on my contour brush and just see what we're working with. Like, I don't know if it's going to be too dark or not. Oh! It's actually not too bad. I have gone in with a very light hand. But it's actually not too bad. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's actually giving me... Like, you can see it in the camera. Oh, wow! That actually looks really good on my skin tone. I'm quite shocked. That's That looks really good. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Diamond Ashes again on my highlighter brush and use it for highlighter. And just glide that along the cheek. The cheek. <gasps> oh my god. That is beautiful. Oh wow. I'm not gonna lie, it's giving me like ice cold vibes, but um, you can't go wrong with like a highlighter like this, or a shade like this. Shade and highlighter. You can use it for either, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I like to focus my highlighter right here, and then just slowly drag it along the chin. The chin! <laughs> the cheek, oh my god. That's beautiful. Oh my god, yes. Okay guys, and then the last step is lips. I'm going to take Medusa. I don't have the full size one. I'm taking the one from the mini blue blood set. And let's pop it on the lips. Oh, yes. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I am just going to say that I wasn't sent any of the glosses, but this was the time that I would have put on Heaven's Gate and like gagged because his gloss formula is so good. Like I said, I'm not going to like complain that I didn't get sent the glosses. I am so, so grateful for even being sent the palette, let alone all the whole collection. I just, this is the finished look. Let's give you a little montage. Get the fuck up. look let's talk about the cremated palette so once again the packaging is phenomenal I absolutely love this lipstick Nick beat like it's just I think it's definitely one of her best it used to be the there was a blood sugar look that she did that was absolutely iconic but this is her new like wow like I'm so impressed um, and yeah I think this is the first time he's done it where he's actually written Jeffrey Star Cosmetics cremated palette on the side. But yeah guys, this is absolutely amazing and I'm so not surprised that it's sold out right now and I can't wait for you all to get your hands on it. It is so, so good. Coming from me, I absolutely love colour and I had so much fun playing with this today. This look is completely out of my comfort zone and I don't ever use like blacks or greys when it comes to palettes. But I'm absolutely having so much fun, and I think I'm going to have so much fun. If you're new here, I am going to be doing a whole week worth of looks with this palette, and I am so impressed. Jeffrey did that. Now, I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Seven shades today. I like to use as many shades as I can, but yeah, throughout the week, I'm gonna use every single shade for sure. I just can't wait to play more with it. It is so fun, and it's just, I think it's definitely high up there 
Also, the formula reminds me of Blood Sugar, which is my favourite, personal favourite, Jeffree Star palette. It reminds me a lot of that. Like, the formula is spot on with this. The only one, like I said, I had trouble with was Death Blow, but I haven't used that on the eyes yet. I'll get around to using that on the eyes. I think it's going to be a good inner corner shade, to be honest. Yeah, guys, that is it. That is my review on the Cremated palette. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you are new here... I would literally love if you would subscribe to my channel. Like I said, I have a whole week's worth of cremated coming your way, so get excited. And if you enjoyed this video, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Did you guys score this palette or not? Do you like it? Is it your cup of tea or not? Not gonna lie, when I first saw it, I was like, that's like not my cup of tea at all. But now after I've playing with it, I'm like, oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun to play with. Like the looks I've seen with it as well have been so cool. Like the grey look that Maddie did, Jeffrey's assistant, the other day. Oh, gave me life. It was so good. Yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope it's not too long. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with another cremated palette tutorial. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this week. Bring it on. I'll see you then. Bye.